What's going on everybody? This is Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. In this video, I just wanted to give a quick little top level overview and impressions of a game that has a title that is way too long, uh, which is uh, Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line. But I think, you know, the, the real title is probably Final Fantasy uh, Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line. So this is a rhythm game with very light RPG elements and this is the third entry in the Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm series. There are five total theater rhythm games, I believe, and they're not, ex you know, the, the IP is not exclusive to Final Fantasy, but I think Final Fantasy is the most popular uh, entry. The Final Fantasy games are the most popular entries in the theater rhythm games, obviously, because Final Fantasy is huge. But this game initially started out as a 3DS exclusive. The first two games were 3DS exclusives, uh, the first one was Theater Rhythm Final Fantasy, that was on 3DS. Then there was Theater Rhythm uh, Curtain Call, that was also a 3DS exclusive. And this is the first game, um, I believe, to actually come to console. So that's pretty cool. And I like the, I like rhythm games. I just don't like rhythm games that combined combat and, and, and rhythm, right? I don't like the combat and the rhythm to be like intertwined. Like that's why I didn't like games like Metal Hell Singer, which is a first person shooter. And I didn't like Hi-Fi Rush, which is a like a platformer with um, with melee combat. Like I just don't like being restricted to those type of things on, on a beat. But in a, in a game that essentially plays just like Guitar Hero, without the peripheral, pretty much, I'm down for that. I like games like Thumper. Uh, like I like this, you know, um, theater rhythm. I like this type of stuff. And <laughs> funny enough, my wife likes it more than me. She's been playing this game more than me. But she's like a former like she's like a guitar hero junkie and fiend from back in the day so she actually loves this game it's a you know it's a very simple you know casual thing to play that's honestly pretty addictive and, and kind of fun and i think i first seen this this um game i knew about the previous entries but i think they first announced this one at the nintendo directs and i had no intention of picking it up day one right but i saw it at the nintendo direct and i'm like oh that looks cool we'll see about it you know maybe further down the line and then a demo came out for this, I think within the past week. And I was like, let me download the demo and try it out. By the way, the game is on Switch and PlayStation, uh, not on Xbox because, you know, Square Enix, for whatever reason, you know, they're deciding to not put a bunch of their games on the uh, Xbox platform, as, as we know. But yeah, I listen, I recommend you try the demo, right? Um, you may actually be surprised and really like this game. Um, there, I, I really like the challenge of it. Like I said, I just really like the challenge of, you know, the eye hand coordination and being able to process all the information coming at you, uh, so quickly and, you know, just hitting the, the button prompts. And I know a lot, of, a lot of people are going to ask, Oh, BG, you always say you don't care about music. Why do you like rhythm games? Well, it's, it's honestly simple. You don't have to like, or care about music in video games to like rhythm games because the gameplay loop comes from hitting the notes. I used to, I had, I had Guitar Hero and honestly, I, I even had DJ Hero back in the day. And a lot of the songs and music in uh, Guitar Hero, I didn't really care for it, but that didn't stop me from enjoying the game because I think the two, you can actually separate the two a little bit. So I just enjoy the gameplay aspect. I don't really care for the, the music that was in Guitar Hero, for example. And if you're a fan, fan of Final Fantasy and the music from this from the stages and the, and all the different games then you'll probably be a fan a fan of this because like i said what didn't intend to buy this game day one but i ended up doing it so just to explain a few basic things so you got your multi battle i'm here at the main menu you got your multi battle which is pretty much just you know multiplayer you can play against other people even even online um i'm not sure if it has local local uh multiplayer i think it might only be online not sure um, music stages is just the, 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 the music stages that you unlock by playing series quest series quest is like the adventure mode. It has very light RPG elements along with, you know, the challenge of the, the rhythm games. So music stages is just the no frills, just hitting notes, right? Series quest. If we go here, you're going to see all the final fantasy games, right? So, and you can unlock all of these. And when you unlock these, you get the stages and you get the characters from those games. So if I go into uh, 15, for example, which I have unlocked, 
there's certain stages and quests that come with the with that come from obviously their world, right? And you can customize the characters you use, and they're obviously not locked to whatever game. Because obviously, I'm in Final Fantasy 15. I in my party right now. I have Cloud, Sephiroth, Vivi, and Garnett. So, and you know, you could choose uh, different loadout characters and and things like that. You know, for whatever your needs are. Now, you may wonder, okay, why does this matter, and why do you have to choose? You know, their abilities and level them up in a game that's really just a uh, a rhythm game so it's pretty simple how well you continue to hit certain notes will determine what abilities your characters perform so let's take a healing character for example why would you need a healing character in this rhythm game so the more notes you miss the more health you lose so you may not need a healing character on an easier difficulty because you're probably not going to be missing that many notes but if you're playing at a higher difficulty and your skills maybe aren't all the way up there for you to keep up with the curveballs and the speed that they're throwing at you, you'll still be able to get through the level if you have a healing character and you hit enough notes for them to perform their ability. So otherwise, if you don't have a healing character, you're probably just going to die because you can die in the middle of these stages. But the healing character will be able to heal your party enough and to just help you get through the rest of the level. And that's how it applies to the rest of the character types. There are uh, defenders who protect your parties from getting uh, from uh, receiving damage. There's magic types and physical types who attack the enemies in front of you so you can get through you know, this, the stage and get through the bosses because there are quests within these stages. You can actually beat each level without killing all the enemies, but there are certain quests to kill all the enemies, for example, so you may need some strong physical types or some strong magic types to actually, uh, you know, deal damage. So it's pretty simple like that. So those are my impressions. I really like the game. I think it's fun, addictive, it's casual. It's something anybody could play. It's it's even like a little palate cleanser because I'm not playing this game, you know, by itself. You know, I'm playing a, a, another game and then I may take a break from that and play a few uh, rounds of this game. So I, I really like it as a little intermittent game, but I'm really having fun with it and I, see myself playing it for the foreseeable future right i haven't gotten tired of it at all i've been playing it every single day so those are those are my impressions let me know what y'all think like i said i highly recommend you try the demo uh hit the like button hit the notification bell so you can know anytime i upload or uh go go live i'll be talking about this more on weapon wheel follow me on twitter if you're not all that good stuff i'll catch y'all in the next video i'm out of here peace